I would like to show you Swagger Hub. Swagger Hub is a new IDE for designing APIs with Swagger. So where you usually had to go to GitHub and get several tools for doing your Swagger stuff, you now have everything integrated into one web application and uh, that's Swagger Hub. So let me show you how to use it. First, you go log in. And after you logged in, you can now do several things. You can use Swagger all the way throughout your API lifecycle. So that means first you can create and import an API that you already have or create a new one. You can collaborate, have a team. You can invite other people to edit the same API description. You can then generate the code and you can publish that version of your API on Swagger Hub. So now let's start creating a new API using Swagger. So let's say this is the book API and we're doing the version one. And this is a book API delivers books and book details. Create that API. And what you now have is on the left side, your editor, where you can change your Swagger code. And on the right hand side, you see the rendering of the left hand side. Then there are several options that you have here. For example, you can generate code directly from the screen. You can publish it, you can save it online, and then you can use these awesome collaboration features. So let me show you how this is done for an existing API. I have here my book API, which I've already written. I could just copy paste that in here. And as you see, I added something on the left hand side on the right hand side is updated automatically. Okay, so there's some security using OAuth. Uh, there are two endpoints, there's the books endpoint a collection endpoint to get a listing of books. And here's a definition of when you do a get on that, uh, what you get what you get as a result. And then you can go to individual books using the ISBN as an identifier. Great. Let's save that. What we can do now is we can publish that. Publish that version. Now we cannot edit it anymore, but it's publicly available. Um, what we could do before that to get feedback from team colleagues is uh, we can use the collaboration features and just invite other people to view and edit the uh, Swagger definition. And then what I think is really cool is that you can now generate first the code for the server, for example, JuxRS. It's generated and then you get a download here, this JuxRS server generated.zip, which contains the complete source code of your API, of course, without any logic um, behind it. It's just dummy values that are returned by these methods, but that's where you would go and write your own code. But this is a very good start. So let's see what you can do with this code. We got this zip file. So first I will go and unzip that zip file. So you can see it's a Maven project. There is a POM file in there and we can just uh, compile that thing. All right, so finished compiling. It's already configured so that there will be a Jersey server started. We can also use Jetty. All right, so it's running. And now we can start and call the API. The API is running on the localhost 8080. That's the default configuration on this generated file. It's my book API, so it's available in the books. That should work just as a collection. But of course, there's no real data being returned. Yeah, but something happens, it's a 200 okay, and we get some dummy message back. And I can even go on books and then some ISBN. Let's say this is an ISBN, you also get something back. What would not work is if I have some URL that's like not a book. All right, so then I get a 404 not found. Right, so some basic functionality is already there. You can imagine 
that those two endpoints just need to be implemented. In the first step, I can just create a mock, a little bit better mock that has a data model that returns statically just some book collection or for the other endpoint, one book detail. So I hope you enjoyed that short introduction to this integrated design environment to this IDE for Swagger called Swagger Hub. There's a lot more functionality for you to explore. This is just a very first look at this cool Swagger Hub. Thanks and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.